The Balbuthan Herd. Andrew and Beth White established the Balbuthan Herd during 1987, taking the name from a castle in Scotland, which was owned by family friends. The herd started with four females, purchased from the Warning Lid and Cullum herds, and from 1987 to 1992, numbers expanded with the purchase of 20 females from such noted herds as Brampton and Thronton. In 1991, Jane Hall joined Andrew and Beth as their herd manager, and their combined passion for the Charlie breed has seen the herd become and remain one of the best known in the country. The herd is managed on a commercial basis, overlooking the sea at home in Worth Matt Rivers, Dorset. The aim has always been to breed a specific type of Charlie, and the words that are consistently used to describe the females are genuine, powerful, graceful, correct, and consistent easy breeders, with a good temperament. Figures have never played a large part of the herd's history, preferring instead that the cattle speak for themselves and breeding has concentrated on producing cattle that perform well in both pedigree and commercial herds, with bulls and females sold over the years throughout the southwest on a regular basis, as well as further afield. It is fair to say that the Balbuthan herd is most noted for its female lines, which have been named to reflect their origins. Those with country names descend from the royal show winning Nadia line. The sweetie names all originate from Brampton Humbug, dam of Bulbeth and Lollipop, who herself bred 13 calves and had a major influence on the herd. The flowers descend from both Brampton Fabergé and Penny Park Felicity, both of whom left an impressive mark on the herd. The final group of females is the alcohols, which descend on the dam's line from the renowned Seawell Offshore. In, or in order to produce so many exceptional females, sires have been crucial and have included over the years Old Stone Egbert, Simpsons Greg, Inverlochy Top Sire, Chanel Doogie, Newhouse Benson, Wesley Furnish and Logan Barr Gorin. The herd prides itself on a tight calving index. However, due to problems with purchase bulls in 2016, this year's calving has been delayed. In May, Mortimer's Hurricane was brought into the herd as a service sire and has been used alongside Goldie's Lawson. The herd is still very much in its prime. However, recent events have meant that it is no longer feasible to maintain the herd. Accordingly, after much soul searching, the painful decision was made to disperse the Bobbethan herd. It is very much hoped that breed enthusiasts will make the most of this opportunity to secure Bobbethan bloodlines and take them forward in the breed, where there is no doubt that their positive influence will continue for many years to come, and we wish you every success with your purchase. A note on herd health by Tom Clark, a vet with Synergy Farm Health. The Balbuthan herd of Charlie cattle has been managed by Jane Hall for over 20 years, and through hard work and good breeding decisions, has become one of the top Charlie herds in the country. We have provided veterinary care for the herd for the last 10 years and it has been a, an absolute pleasure and privilege to work with Jane and her hard-working team who always strive to do the best for the cattle and as a result have created an elite herd with an extremely high health status and very good fertility. The herd is SAC accredited Yoni's free, highest level risk one and has been on a testing regime for 10 years. In addition, the herd is SAC accredited BVD free and has been for over six years. The herd is also SAC accredited IBR vaccinated free. The herd is lepto free, tests negative on annual checks and has no history of disease. The herd is vaccinated for BVD and IBR with a marker. The herd is not under TB restrictions and the pedigree animals have never had a reactor identified. The fertility of the cows is good and bulls are regularly checked for semen quality. Breeding for calving ease and good milk have been two of the traits alongside confirmation, stature and growth rates that have helped make the herd so successful. Jane Hawes' drive and determination to breed only the best and her care and dedication to the care and welfare of the animals has helped create this outstanding herd of Charlie cattle.